After the Second World War, Larry Enkin's father, Max, led this Canadian delegation to displaced persons camps in Europe. The Jewish tailor from Toronto brought 2,000 people to their new home in Canada. At least half were survivors of the Holocaust. I'm always proud of my father, and this is just added to it. And so it's really a recognition of what that meant to the Canadian society. At that time, few countries were willing to take in Jewish refugees. The Garment Worker Scheme, also known as the Taylor Project, was the first time Canada accepted them. These are amazing documents. Now 89-year-old Enkin is connecting with the children of the Taylors his father helped bring here. Well, it's very moving, and uh, as we talk to them, and they begin to tell their stories, uh, you realize the intense difficulties that they were, went through. So far, Enkin has found 10 children of Jewish tailors, including Shirley Hannock. My father went to a call for tailors, and my father, who'd been a sock manufacturer, said he knew how to put on a thimble, and that's how he passed the test. Hannock was just six months old when her family sailed to Canada. I thought it was... Um, just a bit of my family history, but it was a history of a lot of people that came into Canada when Canada wasn't being so friendly. Enkin is finding more families who came through the Taylor Project with the help of a Toronto company. If we could help bring that to life and help people uh, tell their stories, what an incredible experience that would be for everybody. They'll then interview those people and compile their stories so that part of Canadian Jewish history is never forgotten. Lisa Shing, CBC News, Toronto.